I've got 7,600 simoleons to furnish and renovate a two-story house. So these are my sims, Aspen and Alder Big Wallet. They are twins from a family of seven children. And they recently moved out because we had like 11 sims in the household. It was just too many sims. So I was like, Let, let's move a couple of them out. Anyway, this is the house they were born in. They didn't really grow up here. I think they were only like infants and maybe, maybe toddlers here. But you know, childhood home in a way. So they've moved back here, but uh, we've just got a lot of random junk from when we used to live here, like literal junk. We got a pile of clothes. The, the laundry has been full in here, potentially for years at this point, because no one else has lived here since we did. And some more clothes over here. And there's also a toddler potty. So we've got a budget of $7,600, just because that's what we happen to have left over. We need to make this house work for these two guys and also make a little bit more sense because we probably don't need, you know, toys around the place and a, a one year old, no, it wouldn't even be one year old, probably like 10 year old pot of mac and cheese. <laughs> How long has that been there for? Anyway, let's jump into build mode and, uh, and start revamping this and make it make sense for these guys. All right, so first thing I'm gonna do is probably get rid of stuff we don't need, like mum's old easel, 900 bucks, that's pretty good. There's like children's wall night lights and stuff and little pictures and bookcases and artwork, you know, look, memories of childhood that we frankly do not need. Get rid of the potty and apparently I can just delete the clothes. So I'm gonna do that, get a dollar. <laughs> Old microphone, night, whoops, that's a whole room. No, 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 we need that. All right, now as far as the living room goes, I'm pretty good with most of the stuff because if I sold this $2,300 and then like it is worth 2,000, almost 900 new. So I don't think there's any point selling that, it's still good. But I'm gonna get rid of like the dollhouse and these toys that we don't need. Probably don't need a high chair either. Not planning on having any kids anytime soon anyway. Um, we do have a full hamper in there, but that's fine. <laughs> we'll leave that. So I think downstairs inside is pretty good. We do have a greenhouse that has a bunch of pots in it, but I don't think these are worth that much, are they? 40 bucks? Look, if we're desperate, maybe we can sell some of this stuff because I quite, I quite like this little greenhouse we've got. We also do have the tree house, which I'll keep, but we could get rid of this telescope. That is 600 bucks. Let's maybe keep it in case we, you know, it's nice to have. Nah, uh, hallway, that's all good. All right, so upstairs, we do have the games table, which I don't think we need. Not really worth that much anyway. Let's get rid of that. We do have a bookcase there. I might keep that and we'll get rid of those clothes pile. Oh, we got a toy here. We should really get rid of that. 72 bucks. So have, is that a speaker? Yeah, let's get rid of that. 300 bucks. All right. So this actually, I think now we're cut down to what I actually want to keep, leaves us with 10,000 simoleons. Okay. So what we probably want to do is give Aspen and Alder their own spaces. Upstairs is kind of, it would be nice to give one of them the upstairs, but then it feels like they're getting a smaller space. But I guess what we could do, why don't we just go ahead and make some of these rooms. Let's make this room bigger here. So we're going to double wide that room. Move this door probably up to this end. Actually, no, I'll put it there because the bathroom's there. So we have one big room there. So that maybe, maybe that's one of the bedrooms. And then this could be the other bedroom. You know, so they, they, yeah, their bedrooms are far apart. And then these will be like, I don't know, offices, home gym, music room actually, because one of them was into DJing and playing the piano. So that makes sense. Um, let me just go boring walls right now. I know, I know, but just bear with me. <laughs> boring walls and floors. Okay, so do I want to change this Murphy bed? I, I mean, Murphy beds are all fun and fun and games, but then they break. So how much do I get if I sell it? 1300? This is 1300. It's not quite as good, but whatever. So we didn't really lose any money or gain. Now this is wide open <laughs> to, to the hallway and all that. So I'm actually going to remove this archway. We're going to put a door here instead. Maybe this one kind, kind of seems like a craftsman style door. There you go. So at least a little bit, of, I mean, there's glass in it, but you know, it stops the sound coming up here. I suppose we don't need a little office there. We could probably turn one of these into a home office. Why don't we turn this room here? Maybe into a shared office space could be nice. How about we have like one desk on this side and then one on this side. Or we could do them like this and they could face each other. Or I'm gonna do them like this. Look at that, side by side, beautiful. Maybe do some book nook here. I like them because they're like low. They're not super tall. Yeah, that's nice. Okay, let me not, I was gonna, I was gonna start getting carried away with like little decorations and clutter, but I should probably furnish some other stuff. Now I do want, I think a music room or a musical room could be good because I believe was a Aspen had the DJ machine and we also had an upright piano as well. So why don't we go, which room would be better for music? I mean, it doesn't really matter. 
This one's bigger, but I mean, we could have it in the living room. Although the living room is actually <laughs> comparatively quite small. How much is a cheap DJ set? It's 575, that's actually not bad. Okay, so I guess I walk in the back. What's the, we could do it. Uh, I mean, it can all kind of fit like this-ish. A little awkward <laughs> in this room. Can they walk into the back of that? We'll have to test that. How much are these curtains? 75. I, was like, I feel I like I almost need like heavy, like weighted curtains that would like sort of stop sound at least a little bit. Obviously, you know, if this was in a just a regular house, the uh, sound propagation is just gonna go straight through the walls, but I kind of like the idea of it being like a music room that is maybe a little treated, which I think don't we have like kind of musical panels? Yeah, these acoustic panels, that's pretty cool. And sweet like music wallpaper, music room wallpaper kind of thing. I like the, look, I like the idea of having a sweet music room, you know? And then maybe just like a rug. I was gonna do carpet, but then I was like, I kind of like the wood though, you know? Maybe just a fluffy rug like this. Yeah. And if we get more money, we can add some more decorative stuff in there, but I think that's good for now. All right, so then the actual, uh, well, hang on. That's, you know, Aspen's space. Uh, Older liked the B64 training bot. We had this in our old house. So I kind of like the idea of, well, I guess this will be like a gym area for sure. So why don't we just, Set it up like a gym. So maybe we can get that and we can get like a punching bag. Can this fit here maybe? Nope. These actually take up a fair amount of space. Maybe this will be better this, oh, hang on. This way and this way. Now weights machines are pretty expensive, at least the nicer ones, 1500 bucks, uh, but we can fit it in here. We could get it there. So we could have like all this little home gym area in here with our machines, which is pretty good. Ooh, I like the sort of golden one. Um, the flooring though, I think again, a rug, but the one that has like the little rubber puzzle piece. Oh, that's an unlockable, really? Yeah. Level five of the athlete career. I mean, I guess we could technically try and do that. Okay, well in that case, <laughs> We could do this one. <laughs> I'll just have to do like different, I'm gonna do a, like a small one under there. So like the machine sitting on top of that mat, you know. Um, we have a more like square kind of one that we could use. There's like a rubber kind of looking gym mat, you know. I like it. This is actually like for <laughs> the barista, like coffee machines, you know, like uh, in places that you're expected to stand, you know, almost all day, they have like a big spongy kind of mat that you stand on. So it's not as painful. That's what this is. So let's pretend that it's not that. And it's like a regular rubber mat. <laughs> I just got like a small square, what's this? Book nook, that's kind of a bit, a little bit too fluffy looking. And the problem is now we're getting kind of expensive when we get down here, down on the list. The best I found is this one. I just wanted a square rug that just looks black, but $500. <laughs> you know, there's nothing, I don't know. I couldn't, I can't find a good rug that fits under there, but this room is just so boring. Maybe I just need to Google home gym and get some inspiration because this is rough. <laughs> I mean, I guess there's not much else we can do. Where is the actual yoga mat? So let's actually get that. That might be a good idea. Uh, yoga mat, serenity now. Well, we don't need the instructor one. Hang on, let me turn move objects off. Does this actually fit? Not really. Is it because of this or this? Or why is this not fitting? Oh, so I think because the door is, yeah, the door is there. So if I move the door here, this yoga mat should actually fit without a problem. Okay, cool. So then that works. That door open. door will open this way. Then why don't we get, I want these little shelving units here, but what I'm gonna do, uh, see, so yeah, if I remove this wall, then I use move objects to place this. Cause the problem is if, if I place these on the wall, then when we put the walls down, we'll never see it, which I wanna be able to see these. So if we do this now, it should, oh, it does, dang it. It does that thing where even though it's not technically placed on the wall, I guess it's close enough to the wall that it's counting. Dang it. It's not even touching the wall. Dang it. Why did they make the coolest looking like Ikea Kallax shelves that stack perfectly, but then when the wall is there, they disappear. <laughs> so annoying. Okay, well, why don't we put it on the back wall? Because you're more likely to see this, right? With Even if, whoops, if we have cutaway walls like this, you'll still see it because it's the exterior wall. So that kind of makes sense. I don't know if it technically fits because this is overlapping, but hopefully this all still works. I'll move it forward a little bit. All right, now we need some like, Home gym stuff, we need, yes, like the drink bottle. I think little baskets in here, it could be anything, it could be like towels or something in there. Well, I guess to be fair, actually, why don't we use the one that have towels in them? <laughs> Make more sense. They get a couple towels. Where's like the weights? How much do those cost? Cause I don't have a lot of money. We're already running out. So I might, we're probably gonna have to cut back on some of this, but let's start with what we want. I love some of these clutter things, but when we're on a budget, it's so expensive. Like this is 125 simoleons. Okay, well here's this. We gotta have this. This is like 100% gym clutter, 140 bucks. 
There's also this one. How much is this one? 175. Get it in there. I guess we don't need the separate bottle, but you know what? We'll have another bottle. Why not? Be a different color. Kind of wish we just had like more weights, just like separately that we could stack up, but I guess that'll do. And then is there like just cheap? How much are these? 20 bucks? How much is this? 20 bucks. Let's just get these. A couple of those boxes in there. And then this is technically important things for your baby, but just, let's pretend it's gym stuff. There you go. So we just got a little, little clutter, a section of gym paraphernalia. Makes it seem like it, you know, has more use to it in the room. Uh, ideally, I'd want mirrors and stuff in there too, but we got $3,000 left. So let's see what we can do for the rest. Good thing is we've already got all the bathrooms done. We've got like three fully, you know, done bathrooms, which is great. This bedroom is, this bedroom's got at least a bed and, a, well, it's got a bed, a rug, you know, TV, console, bookcase. This bedroom's got nothing. I also don't know which bedroom is which uh, Sims. I haven't really decided. Did I assign them or did they get assigned? No. Now I think having the bed all the way down here is kind of strange. I don't know, this room is kind of strange now because it's so big. Like what do we do? <laughs> what do we do with all this space? Well, it, let's at least get like bedside tables and all that kind of stuff. And maybe curtains would go a decent way to make this room look a little nicer. I kind of like this color, but I think I'm, I might need to change the color of the bed to go with this, but those are nice. I like those. Could do that color. That's actually, that's not bad. I like that. Okay, that's a better room. <laughs> Should we get this old TV in here? I really wish they need to, you know what they need to do? They just need to, I think, maybe reduce the price of this TV. Because this, look, this game came out in 2014 and I don't even think that TVs were this expensive back then. This is like a tiny TV. What is this, like 24 inch? There's no way you'd spend like $1,500 on this thing. <laughs> it's crazy. And like these, you couldn't even find a TV like this. Though actually, you know what, to be fair, you probably would end up paying $500 now if you're trying to get a CRT TV in decent condition. They are actually kind of expensive. So maybe that makes sense. But like flat panels, this should be like $5. Like <laughs> $1,400? I cannot justify putting that in this house. I know we have one upstairs, but we already had that. So I'm, I'm, not, I'm not worried about that. <laughs> get a pop of color in here. Nice decal. Do I like that? Sure, why not? This okay, this room is actually massive. <laughs> it's so big. And the thing is, we, we you know, I did like a home office here and then they have like their own hobby room. So it's like, I don't really need to put anything else in this room. <laughs> I gotta say, this looks like the most uncomfortable. Like this came in the book nook kit, which is supposed to be like, like cozy and reading, but like there's no back support at all in this thing. It's a piece of wood. The cushions themselves, that looks super comfortable, but that back looks like it'd be really uncomfortable. This on the other hand, this book nook couch. Ooh, that looks comfy. Actually, I want to swap out our living room couch for this. Let's do that. No. Oh, this definitely needs a rug too, by the way. Anyway, back over here, we need like a cozy bedroom couch. <laughs> it's so cavernous. What, what's over here? I would say like an uh, like an ensuite bathroom, but there's a bathroom just here, and I don't think we need another bathroom. Okay, let me keep that. Okay, let's. Do, what about just clothing? How about how about that? We just do a huge wardrobe. That makes sense. Okay, how much is this gonna cost me to do? These are hundred bucks each. Oof, okay, there you go. It just fully disappears, but we have a big wardrobe. <laughs> okay, that's definitely a waste of money. But I like the idea. So what I'm gonna do. I'm, I'm gonna we're gonna start off with that, and then I'm gonna remove you know most of it. How much do these columns cost? Thirty five bucks. That's not too bad. Cause I kind of want this just to be open, I think. Did I use any spandrels or no? I don't think so. Um, okay, this is like super expensive. I can't afford to do this. How much do I get back for this? Those are 250 bucks. Huh. I do like it though, is the problem. Okay, well, instead of that couch, why don't we just do an armchair? Ooh, a book nook armchair. And then we get a little mug and then we go candle. There you go. Look at that, that's nice. <laughs> When the walls go down, all that just goes poof. <laughs> There's nothing in there. That's what I don't like about that stuff. But I also like it because then it gets out of the way. It's kind of a double-edged sword. All right, well, I kind of like that room, at least where, you know, where it started. Can we get some more art in here, maybe? Uh, these ones are good because, oh, I was gonna say they're cheap. They're not that cheap, actually. 275. Oh, yeah, they're not that cheap. And I thought it was cheaper. Oh, whatever. Okay, anyway, so downstairs is pretty good. I know the kitchen we didn't do anything to, and this is still our really old kitchen. Living room is good. We probably don't need this many dining chairs. Why don't we get rid of some of these? We'll sell a couple of those, save a bit of money. Um, I did want a rug in here. Also, this couch is not aligned at all. Uh, okay, well, I could, because I, I got we, we got to do something upstairs too. This room is very empty. Should we sacrifice on maybe the weights machine, at least for now? Well, how much is this? One, oh, that's like nothing. 
Let's get rid of the weights machine. I like it, but it is a lot of money. As you can see, $1,500. We can always, that's easy to add it. You know, that's very easy to add. And how much was this room, by the way? This was 1,300 and five, well, that's like 2,000. So then isn't it only fair that both hobby rooms get the same budget? Ugh, cause then yeah, that, that does make it more equal. I did buy a new computer. Should we get rid of one of the computers? 800 bucks? We don't need two computers. What do we need two computers for? We have two desks. One computer. <laughs> All right, let's see. How, well, let's see. How, let's see how far that gets us. All right, I'm gonna move this rug. So this bed is kind of just over there. This used to be like a living space. Obviously, it's not supposed to be anymore. I'm actually move the bookcase over there. I'm gonna move this bed over a bit. I like the sort of space that creates, and that also gives me this corner here to do more wardrobe stuff. How much are these? Seven hundred thirty bucks. No way, I'm doing that. How much is this? Five thirty-five. What about these ones? Two forty. Do like these ones, but that's like all my money. I do a built-in one. Oh, I was kind of hoping you could do them off grid a little bit, but I guess you can't. Cause I kind of wanted it in the center. Oh well, could leave the wall there though. Actually, I'll put it here. Cause that means I can put like a lamp or something in the corner or maybe a mirror actually, that might be nice. You know what? We don't really have any mirrors in this house. Now we do. Wow, this room is not very nice. Okay, so what do we got? We got this rug here. You know what? I don't mind that color of rug. Maybe we need to change the bed a little bit. Ooh, I don't think I've ever used that color on the bed. Kind of fun. <laughs> okay, I've got five simoleons. All right, I do. <laughs> okay. Maybe I, this is very expensive. Hmm. Could get rid of the basketball hoop, but that is iconic. Could get rid of the tree house, but that is like, you know what, let's get rid of the telescope. I did say we could get rid of that. So let's do that. I like these, cause they're quite wide. Very nice. I, I want like a wide picture, I think here, like wide. Uh, kind of cool. Um, <laughs> not really, doesn't really make sense for the bedroom wall, but I like the, you know, I like the ingenuity of it. $200 for these, these are cool. Uh, not quite what I'm after though. I like the frame though. Dang it, paintings get expensive fast. Ooh, that's kind of fun. I like the red in that. All right, the wall, ooh, do we just go heavy on the red theme? To be honest, that guy kind of looks nice. Am I overdoing the red? I don't know, but I like it. I'm kind of, kind of feeling it. Red might be a lot for a bedroom though, but I don't mind. It's different for me anyway. I don't, <laughs> I don't normally do this. Sims one plant, kind of like Christmas in here now. Look at this. <laughs> you know what would be nice there? Maybe a lamp actually. A book nook lamp? No. Tiny living lamp. That's what we, oh no, how much is it? $200? What am I made of money? What about this lamp? No. <laughs> All right, what can we sell? I'm on a budget. <sighs> I suppose I should probably make this door a little lighter in color. Yeah, that's better just to match the other doors. Um, could sell this TV because this is very expensive. Eleven hundred dollars. Why don't we just get the one of these? Oh, they're not that much cheaper. Nine ninety five. Does save a bit of money though. I never said that this renovation or furnishing was gonna be practical. Okay, I just said we needed to do it. <laughs> Red? No, I think we got two. I think we got plenty of red now. Maybe just uh, could just do wood, or we could do that. That I mean, I guess even the default blue one, or orange. Orange is a bit much. White and black we could just do as well. Uh, kind of like that one actually. That's nice. I do think we actually need some green in here because I, I do think uh, that maybe breaks up the walls a little bit. Like a nice green. I like this. What does this look like scaled up? Does that look too big? Kind of, but why don't we use good old tool mod. So wait, what's one? One is the regular size scale 1.25. That might be better. Just a smidge bigger. Yeah. Okay. Probably need more green like over here. Uh, this side of the room is very blank. Okay. But we don't have enough money for that. Does this have a green? Cause I actually really like this, <laughs> but it's kind of more brown. What about the get famous plant? I'm an, I'm an, I'm an, I'm an get famous. The theme song. Go red, yeah. <laughs> Is it, am I going too hard on the red? Maybe like a green, yeah, that's all right. Okay, well, we definitely need more money for this. Oh, we have no curtains in this room, actually. I did do curtains in a lot of the other rooms. So it kind of feels like I should have curtains. How much are these? 35, oh, okay. Um, well, how many do I need? I need two big ones and then I don't, we could probably not have curtains on those, do you reckon? We could probably get away with it. Maybe like 200 bucks. How much is this candle? 40 bucks? Tossed. How much is this mirror? 120, how much is this? 52, I like that though, you know? All right, we got pots. Let's delete some of them, but not all of them. How about that? Because then we still get the vibe, but we get a bit of cash. Yeah, there you go. Okay, we're back in it. Do we do, we could do the same curtains as downstairs, so there's consistency, or we could just do different colored. Kind of like those. 
I like the color of those. I don't know if I like the pattern though. I feel like the pattern might be a little much, you know? Blue, am I doing two? We do have blue down there though, to be, to be fair. Kind of potentially works. Move that a little bit forward so it's not in the curtain. Um, and then I guess these guys, do these fit on these? What's what's the deal? Can I, can I like, cool. I love how it goes everywhere except for the one place I want it, which is like over the window. Like, you, you know, like, it's like, oh yes, that's where I want it, thanks. Okay, not these then. You know what, I, I'll just leave those. We'll, we'll just, it, it's fine. Okay, so I, I mean, look, I'm happy with that. I think we definitely need more decorations, obviously. Like I don't think, this house is definitely not done, but at least it makes a little bit more sense now for the guys. So we've got our home office area with one computer because we had to cut back. Got the music room for Aspen. We got the gym for Alder. And then I'm not really sure whose room is whose, to be honest. I think, I mean, I just let them decide, to be honest, I don't know. This room, you know, it's pretty big, but then this room is upstairs and essentially has its own bathroom because it's like, you're not gonna come upstairs to use this bathroom if you're downstairs, you know what I mean? So that's good. And then we still have the greenhouse and all that. I think that's good. I think we've done a nice little furnishing renovation. What's going on with the roof here? There's like a different, is that a different trim? You see that? Like how this one's got like a, it's weird. I'm not sure if it's actually, no, they've all got the same roof trim. So I'm not sure why it looks like that. Oh, right, let's ignore it. Um, yeah, so the house looks exactly the same from the outside, which I think makes sense because they're just furnishing. And then maybe we actually play, oh, I wanted a rug for in here. Maybe we play, um, as uh, in the household for a day, or like not a day, like probably a few days. So we can um, actually earn some money, get them some jobs and all that. And then, you know, furnish the house more. <laughs> so it makes more sense. Anyway, just do that little rug in there. That's all good. I think that's, that's nice. I'm gonna save this to the gallery, which I don't know. Oh my gosh, let me get rid of that. We have the on ley line trait. No, 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 we don't need that anymore. I'm gonna save this to the gallery. I don't know, did I share the original one? Uh, I actually didn't. I'm gonna call it Twins Edition. And I'll link it down below if you're interested. I mean, feel free to <laughs> download it and obviously furnish it yourself. This is on a very tight budget for us two specific Sims. So this house, the way I furnish it right now is probably not great for a lot of you. Anyway, two bedrooms, three bathrooms. So I just said after being born here and the whole family moving out years later, Aspen and Older, you know what, I'll say Big Wallet, just so you know. Big Wallet moved back and are slowly starting to make it their own. Just so you know why it's kind of furnished a little strangely in this version. It's the Twins Edition, AKA the Twins Edition. But thank you so much for watching and thank you so much to my top level members for supporting the channel. I really appreciate it. I'm glad that we've actually furnished this house so then these guys can, you know, live their lives with actually having things inside that house instead of it being completely empty. <laughs> so I think that'll be nice. If you're not already a member of the channel, now's a really good time to join because we just started a brand new members only shell challenge where you guys can submit your completed shells. And in a few weeks time, I'll go through it in a members only video and see what you guys have been up to. It's really fun every, I don't know, three-ish months we're kind of doing members shell challenges. It's a lot of fun. But thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time and have an awesome day.